So you've cracked the screen on your iPhone X. You're dreading shelling out $280 for an official Apple screen replacement, and you're being tempted by the $100 do-it-yourself replacement kits offered on Amazon. Here before me are two iPhone Xs, where the one on the left has had its display replaced by a $99 kit off Amazon, and the one on the right is stock. The third party display is actually pretty good. At first glance, you won't tell the difference. However, after a few months of daily use, a few problems have emerged. Key among them is the third-party digitizer underneath the display. The third-party display is definitely not as responsive as the Apple display. It frequently misses keystrokes, it frequently takes multiple swipes to unlock the phone, and in general it's not as high quality as the Apple display. Another key difference is the relative brightness of the displays. You can see here at max brightness the OEM Apple display is a bit brighter. But the difference becomes a lot more apparent once we go down to minimum brightness. These are both OLED displays, however the OEM Apple gets significantly darker than the third party display. One other thing to note is the refresh rate of the displays. The third party display felt a lot choppier as you swiped and moved around the screen, however this was slight and it's not something you'd notice unless you're looking for it. Regardless, motion on the third party display didn't quite look as smooth as on the OEM display. Minor pet peeves aside, the replacement display looks pretty good, and if you're not looking for it particularly you might not notice that this is not an OEM Apple display. One thing third-party manufacturers haven't quite seemed to have gotten the hang of yet is rounding out the corners of the screen, and in particular getting them to match with the case. If you look in the Apple display, you can see that the menu icons, the screen, and the physical phone, are, the radius of the corners are all concentric, whereas on the third-party display, the radii are kind of messed up, and there's a slightly larger bezel on the bottom of the screen. A lot of these observations are admittedly minor differences between the two displays. At the end of the day, if you want to save $180, a third party display is a pretty good way to go. The one I purchased was easy to install and it's worked well for several months now. Be advised, some reviews on Amazon do say that the displays can break after a certain period of time, but that hasn't been my experience. If, on the other hand, you appreciate having a premium flagship device, then perhaps it's worth the extra $180 to go with the official Apple screen replacement. If I had to make the same decision again, I would probably choose to go with the Apple replacement screen for $280, the official solution. If for no other reason, then it would eliminate a lot of frustration with the digitizer under the third-party display.